What's up everybody, EA Sports Game Changer here, Anton B, bringing you an exclusive, free, St. Louis Rams Offensive Guide. Totally free, you have to pay nothing for it. This is where I learn how to do different things, figure out different things, and each year that Madden comes out in my lab. This is my lab, where I work, spend hours of time um, trying to figure out the game and what I can do to improve my game. So today I'm going to show you, the community, things that you can do with the St. Louis Rams. Their rating is 67, which isn't, which isn't all that great. But if you do a few minor adjustments and different things with your players, you can be successful. So here we go. I'm going to break it down for you right here and show you a few things here. Let's move up closer to the screen here. We're going to show you, first of all, the audibles. You need to set your audibles whenever you're playing Madden 11. Um, you want to be able to catch your defense off guard at all times. Okay? So the audibles here that we set in this formation would be... Um, halfback toss, which is a good play. A lot of people run that. Um, counter weak. Bench swap. 689 hook, which is one of my favorite plays. And a halfback slip screen. We're going to go back into the game here and we're going to try to break this defense down here. Now we know our team is a 67 as I stated before so the play that you always want to come out in is the mesh play. You always want to pick the mesh play and I'll show you what the mesh play looks like here in just one second. Let's choose a new play here. And we're going to go to the mesh play for you. Split. And it's called mesh. The mesh play. Now we're going to put our defense here just on a random play here. Now if we can look at the screen, if you can look and you can see there's three linebackers there, huh? So that gives it away that it may be in a cover three situation. So if they're in a cover three, sometimes what I would do is break down to a run. So I'll break the, the formation down to a run play. Now it looks like they're going to try to come up the gap here. So I'm going to run up the middle instead of going to the counter weak. And they drop back. And as you can see, I gained about 7 yards off of that play. And so what I did there was the regular formation, the regular play was a counter weak. But I press X, X, I press X twice. Press down on my right stick, which brought me to a uh, halfback um, dive. And as you can see, Jackson slipped through. So you have to be able to read your defense. If you can't read your defense, that's one strike against you already. So now we're going to go back to our regular play because it looks like they only have one linebacker sitting there in the middle. So we're going to go with this mesh play. And I'm going to try to hit my, my um, motion guy that's going underneath. I'm going to try to hit him, see how this works. And that's all you want, five yards, just five yards. You don't want more than that, you don't want to try to go to deep ball, I'm not a deep ball type of player, I'm just a regular old, you know, short yard situations here. Now if you can see here on the left side of your screen here, um, we have a, maybe DB, linebacker could be, um, up to the line of scrimmage, and it looks like he's going to blitz us here, right? So we're going to audible down, and this is where that 689 hook comes into play. If you ever see anything like this, you automatically want to do this. Now, you really don't have to do nothing to always smart route, smart route my receivers here, but watch how this play develops here. And there's another five yards. He fumbled on a play, but there's another five yards. And let's show you what happened here again. I read the defense, I seen that the linebacker was up a little bit, and then we had a linebacker in the middle. And that was the, the original play that, it, that they came out in on defense. And watch how the 689 hook comes in. The running back drops out of the backfield, bam, and he gets the ball. He's open for five yards. Yeah, he fumbled, uh, but you got what you wanted, the five yards. And that's all we're looking for here. So that was two of our audibles there. We're going to go ahead and look at this, this halfback slip screen. Now what I like to do on this play here, as you can see, 
I'm going to cancel out that halfback screen and put him on the streak, okay? And I'm going to take my, my slot man and I'm going to put him going across the middle. I'm going to put my tight end, stay home and block, and watch how this play develops here. You got what you wanted. You definitely got what you wanted there. If you wait a little bit longer, it'll be, he'll be more open here. But the slot man goes across the middle. And he wasn't, he was, they were in the man coverage, it looks like. So he wasn't able to get free like I wanted him to. But he got the job done for me. Our next play here, we're going to audible down into is the strong toss. And as you can see, I really don't have any blocking over there, so I got to hurry up. Oh, and I get sacked over there. So that's not actually a good play to run, but I mean, it works. If, there, if you can catch them off guard here. I'm going to take it up the middle this time. And I got three or four yards off of that. So we're going to go to the bench swap now, which is one of our other audibles that we had here. We're going to put Jackson in motion. We're going to try to spread out this defense a little bit, see what type of adjustments he makes. And that's what I wanted. I wanted that linebacker to move over just enough so I can get the ball and we're going to try that again because I hit the wrong button there and as you can see you got about five to six yards in that play as well so there's different things that you can do with this play here Our um, six eight nine hook again is back again, and sometimes you can even do this. You can motion your full back over and catch the the defense off guard on this play right here. And when the drag coming across the middle with the full back, so there's many types of, of things that you can do. Let's do this counter week here. See if we can get the, the defense is in the cover too, it looks like here. So you just have to read your defense. Now you have three linebackers. Look at that's what I always look at, the three linebackers. To tell what type of defense they're in. And then from there I just I just go for uh, whatever works best. And that time, instead of me hitting a 689 hook play, I sent my guy um, out to the flats here. My slot man. Because at the beginning of the play, there was nobody covering. It looks like nobody was covering. And then all of a sudden, the defense comes up on them. But it was too late when they came up. So, and our uh, let's go back to our original play here with what we can do with the mesh play. We can hit the, the running back coming out of the backfield, we can hit our guy coming across the middle again because the linebacker is blitzing. Or if you're looking for that, that touchdown, you can do different things with the wide receivers. So, that's the offensive guy that I have created for you guys for Madden 11. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to... Um, Send me a message on Twitter. My Twitter is Anton32. My Facebook is Anton Bland. Or you can email me at bland31 at hotmail.com. Thanks for tuning in.